Hi there, everybody. And how are you this evening? Or if you're watching the replay, how's it going? Tonight, we are going to be talking about how to change prices correctly in Xactimate. And I'll be showing you a few different things you'll need to know in order to make sure that you aren't losing out on sales tax. So this can happen with bid items or if you're changing line item pricing, both of those issues can be um, a problem for you if you don't know how to change the prices correctly. So let's get started here in just a few moments. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've got the right keyword for you guys to text in. I've actually made a PDF for those that want to have a step-by-step what the heck do I do again after I do this so that you can remember what to do in the future. But let me make sure I've got the right, yes. Okay, so the tonight, if you want to participate in the giveaway, we're going to be uh, sending you the PDF on how to correctly change prices in Xactimate. And um, you'll want to go ahead and let's see here, text price to that number and we will get you set up with the PDF. If you want to go ahead and do that, that's great. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how you're going to be changing prices correctly so you don't leave sales tax behind. Again, if you just joined me, this is for bid items and if you're gonna change material pricing, both of those are going to be a problem if you don't know how and where and why you should change prices in certain places in Xactimate. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. Once I get logged in, Xactimate was being persnickety with me today. I didn't want to log me in, but I think it finally kicked. Uh, yep, it kicked me back into the program. Good, okay, let's get this going here. So I am in an estimate and I know my screen is kind of small, was my view, but uh, I sh you should be able to figure out what I'm doing here. So let's say we're on the interior of the home and we've got this, uh, this drywall in this kitchen and we want to replace it maybe on the ceiling. And the drywall gypsum board has actually skyrocketed, let's say, just for fun here that, you know, it's gone from, um, one amount that we'll take a look at, uh, let's say just for round numbers sake that it rose a dollar a square foot just for gypsum board. Let's uh, say just for say for example, I know that'd be a really high <laughs> price range, price rise, but we are seeing a lot of lumber, right? Triple in pricing, what have you. It's been kind of insane out there recently with the pricing that's going on due to mater label material shortages. But um, all of that to say, we're gonna go ahead and change the pricing for this line item, uh, increase it by a dollar per square foot. Now what most of y'all I bet would do is go into the line item price right here and go into the replace price and just go ahead and enter three, another dollar, right? It's 260, now we're gonna change it to 360, right? Um, not 30, 60, 360, there we go. And left click okay and you'd call it a day. If you do that, you're going to be uh, messing with what is called the distribute market conditions. Now, nah, let me put it this way, Xactimate's messing with you. It's not your fault, Xactimate does this. So this market conditions right here that you see as a dollar is just sitting out in market conditions. And um, that's because I'm using a sandbox estimate, sorry. Let me go do one thing really quick that I forgot to change before I got on this call. And I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. It'll all make sense to you. So let's go back to and add that DRY one half to another area here. Oh, that's fine. And um, we're gonna go to the replace price and let's put in that dollar. So we're at 360. And you go into that little eye there. What Xactimate does uh, is distributed the market conditions for you. It's put 57% of that dollar or 57 cents per square foot, if you will, to labor. And the uh, 51, excuse me, 50, 50, we'll check the numbers here just a second. The rest is placed to material. What was the whole dollar for? Material only. So now your sales tax is going to be 
drastically off because exactimate is what distributing market conditions is what it's called. All right, so um, it automatically does this in the background. It's nothing that you've done. If you go over to claim info and go to parameters, it's uh, under this one checkbox right there, distribute market conditions where this is controlled. So just to kind of knock, knock this out of the park for you and hit it home, let's add a, let's say a labor, I'm sorry, let's add a, um, yeah, let's add a, a drywall uh, bid item that's all material only. Let's say it's the, uh, material to replace a custom something, <laughs> a custom detail, <laughs> we'll make it big. And it costs a thousand dollars. And if you just type in a thousand here and left click okay to accept that line item and you go back and look at that eye, look what happens. It will place 59, excuse me, 59% into labor, 41% to material. This should be all material. And you're really gonna leave a lot of money behind in that sales tax. So let me show you here. Uh, the sales tax is $41 on that. If I go back and I add it again, doing this the correct way, and go to the replace price, go to the I, and put it all in material myself, all right, we'll just say that the labor we're adding is a DRY LAB line item later on. You're missing out on, yeah, 60 bucks in sales tax simply because Xactimate's doing that distribute market conditions on you, okay? So pay attention to that. And um, I actually, if you're gonna use a bid item, just know that you as the user need to place the correct material or labor or equipment money into the right spot. And if you're going to edit an existing item, don't, <laughs> just don't even go there. If you're gonna edit an existing item in Xactimate, I would have you go over to components to avoid any of this flim flam. We're gonna go over to components and you can select everything on your grouping tree. And you can see here, the gypsum board, I can actually select my whole estimate and make changes to the gypsum board here. It went from, let's say 50 cents on this line item. We could go ahead and change that to a dollar. That's where you should be changing your material or your labor. If I scroll down, you've got all of your different labor for the different trades. That's where I advocate you change all of this and don't just blanket change that line item or else it's going to go ahead and do the 59 to 41% split for you, which you probably don't want. Not mo most jobs aren't split directly down the middle, you know, that percentage 59 for labor and 41 for material. It's just not gonna help you. So that's why I advocate if you're gonna change a line item, don't do it out at the line item level like I was just showing you here. That's gonna distribute those market conditions. Go over to components and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. If you have a bid item, watch out for that distribute market conditions. You'll want to go ahead and uh, just go straight into that price button right there and place that material or labor where you want it to go. Again, if you text in price, we will send you a summarization of what I'm showing you here and uh, you'll have these instructions at your fingertips, but that is pretty much the meat and potatoes of it. If you're gonna make an existing line item price change, go to the components. If you're gonna add a bid item, watch out for that little eye there. If you don't want to distribute market conditions in the future, there is that checkbox over under claim info and parameters is where I'm at. And you can distribute the market conditions right there or not. So if I choose to not distribute, estimates going forward, I believe will have this unchecked. So watch out for that. I believe it carries over this property to future estimates. So be careful, be careful of that. If you go to estimate items now and I make a change, let's say to, to the paint, let's up this by a dollar from $12 to 13. If I do that, um, actually did I do masking? I did, I did the masking. Oh, well, that's okay. We can go to the price I here and you'll see that dollar that I added now resides out in market conditions and now no tax is being added to it. <laughs> so it's, it's a choose your battle kind of thing. Again, I just advocate don't make the line item price change on the line item out here. Go to the component section and that'll save you from any of the headache of, oh my gosh, am I getting any tax added? There's no tax being, added. don't even have to worry about it. And then in the event that you do have to add the bid item, if you don't have the market conditions distributed, then um, it will look like this. Let me just show you. If you add the $1,000 here to that bid item, 
then it's just going to sit in market conditions right here and you're going to need to distribute that. So that's how the, that's the difference between that if you have it checked or unchecked, what it's going to look like for you uh, there. So know that, that that's what that checkbox will it actually is quite a expensive checkbox. If you don't know what you're doing, it can cost you some money. So I would just leave it checked. At least it'll pick up, you know, if you do that in the future and forget at least 40, you know, 59% will be attributed to labor and 41% to material and you'll be covered that way. But that's, uh, that's it. That's how you change prices. Use the components. Don't change the line item. <laughs> and then of course, know what you're doing when you add the bid item as well. And be sure to text price to that number down below. And we will send you over a summary of what I talked about, just a step-by-step, play-by-play, -play, how to do that in ExactMate. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, changing prices can is uh, something you need to know, but uh, also doesn't take that much time to talk about. <laughs> so that's all I got for this evening. Next week, I will be here talking about how to get rich in starter pay using a tool that we'll be giving away next Tuesday. So I'll be here at Tuesday, 6 p.m. Thanks everyone for watching who showed up live and uh, those on the replay. Good to see you. And uh, we'll see you next week talking about how to get rich and starter paid. Have a great week and we'll see you next week.